Welcome everybody to class. Uh, we're taking a field trip today. Uh, we're in the market square here. And that is because I want to do something special. A little bit of a uh, role play. So I have equipped on my bar a the Cat's Bulger, Land's Niche Dagger, and the Zwei Handler. And with these weapons, I am going to play the part of one of the infamous Lands Nietzsche mercenaries. Now, traditionally, their weapons would also include either a crossbow or an arquebus, I think is how it's pronounced. It's, it's like a prototype gun. It's essentially a long tube that had a stick coming out of the bottom. They'd thunk it into the ground, point, pull the trigger, and just boom, and, and fire a whole bunch. Now, I'm going to check my bubble here so I'm not so I'm not punching my dresser when I move around and shit. Alright. So they, they do that kind of stuff. Um they they also use pikes and halberds. I do not have with me a pike or a halberd, but I could easily get one. But uh, I'm gonna focus mainly on using the Zwei handler or something like that. Because they wouldn't wield all three. They would either wield a pike, a halberd or a Zwei Handler. And since I'm going with the Zwei Handler, I'm gonna be using that one. I do feel I need at least a little bit of a, of a ranged weapon, um, just, just to kinda of give myself a little go. So I'm gonna go with these, my, uh, my Francescas. Oh. Now this comes in a bundle of a hundred, which, I mean, I think that's a little OP, but you know. All right, so we're gonna start off simple, with with just uh, you know what we'll 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 kick right into it with a with a bandit wave. All right, I'm gonna start with a big boy. I'm gonna wield it traditional grip. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Change the grip. Yeah. Yeah. Man, that's a big handle. How do I stop my slow time? There we go. Oh, the Pavis. Whoa, shit, behind me. Yeah. 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 Get her in the face. Yeah. 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 Change the grip. Yeah. Yeah. Half hand it. Oh, I'm through his shoulder. I missed. That is not slicing as well as I'd hoped. Where is she going? Whoa. Whoa. Meh. Through a few axes. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Whoa, I missed the thrust. Alright, so this sword's a little unwieldy. It, oh, I took his arm clean off. Uh. 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 Especially with my tracking, this sword's really unwieldy. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. 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 Yeah. 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 I keep getting hit. Oh, I'm cut on her legs. hits there um i, I want to blame my tracking but i might my tracking isn't entirely to blame um the sword wasn't slicing as well as i hoped it would i mean you'd think something like this would be able to slice a bit better 
it stabs really well, surprisingly. Um, especially when I switched my grip and got the drove in, or when I half bladed it for swifter strikes. But uh, I feel like better tracking would allow me to get a lot more momentum out of it. Um, did they not give me no drank? I got, I got no drank. That's fine. I don't need it. Uh, we're gonna be moving on now to the uh, cat's bulger which is typically wielded in unison with the dagger. Uh, slicing and thrusting. So. Right. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I missed. Yeah. Oh, took her arm clean up. Whoa. Oh, I missed him. Oh, things are so caught up. Taking a lot of damage here. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'll admit, that dagger bump, we're gonna play that again real quick. I don't think I could ever do that again in my life. There we go. through their bodies and taking damage. I threw my dagger. This is not my dagger. No, my dagger! Where did it go? I didn't even mean to throw my dagger. I meant to get a thrust with it. And it's just, it's just gone. I mean, it's probably under a body or two, but... What the fuck? I'm out of mana. That, that very rarely happens to me. Let me just fix this cable real quick. There we go. Can't find the dagger. That's all right. We're moving on anyways. That's a good sword. We're moving on anyways, my guys. We are moving on to the next noble warrior in our cause. Right, so I'm going to hang you back up because they did not use 
throwing axes. Uh, moving on to swords. I was really hoping the base game would have a close enough. I mean, this is this is close, but that's closer to a spot they used by like the Germanic people. All right. So I've got three options in front of me. Three three options I can choose as a sword. One, two, and nope, the other one. Three. These are these are my three options of of sword here. We've got the Falcata, a, a hack and thrust weapon. Um, a lot like the Kukuri, kind of in its mega model, but a more gentle curve. Um, used viciously by the Iberians, which are kind of where Spain is right now. But it definitely spread to Greece and became a, a well-known weapon among the Greeks. The, the, these two, though, were a lot more famous. This was around the time of steel and iron. This was more used in the Bronze Era. I'm going to go with the Xiphus. Alright. I need a proper shield if I'm going to be a Greek warrior. Now, they do not have a hoplite shield. The closest thing to it is the Gottsteg shield used by the Vikings. So I'm just I'm just gonna take it. It'll be close enough. I've got my dory. Whoa, Jesus, I just stuck right into the table. Uh, which is a hoplite's spear. Um, the reason that it, this was a famous weapon among the hoplites isn't just that spears and shields play very well together. It's that they had a blade at this end for stabs and gentle uh, uh, swipes. Well, not gentle swipes, but shallow swipes. But it also had this steel butt spike so that they could chunk it into the ground, grab whatever they had on their shoulder, which was usually javelin, and wing a bunch of javelins at the enemy, and when the enemy got closer, they just chunk, and they're ready to go again. So, and then for my hip, I need a a a dagger that would fit the times. Nope. Nope. Mm. Nope. Really, it doesn't have to be a dagger. It just has to be a uh, a secondary weapon uh, of some sort. But a lot of Greek soldiers carried a knife with them because their life was on the road. It was on campaign. So having a knife on you was like a wonderful thing. I'm going to go with this one because I'm, I'm torn between either this one or this one. You know? Uh, either of these would be a great choice. Um, the reason I'm going with this one is because this blade's a lot more refined, and I feel like it, during the Greek era, that even looks like it has screws in the bottom of it. During the Greek era, a knife like that would be more difficult to get than something crude and hammered out like this, but especially with the eagle ornation on the bottom, which the Greeks worship Zeus, whose thing was the eagle. So, all right, uh, potions. Let's go ahead and get myself a. A little bit of that good. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, would the Greeks often fight in a, a big marketplace? Yes. Were they more commonly fighting in giant open fields? Yes. Am I going to fight in this marketplace regardless? Yes. So we're going to take on another wave of bandits. I've got my, my shield and dory here. Now, the shield does cover a lot of my vision, but that also means yeah, yeah, covers a lot of my body. Now, what I need to do is find a place where I can back myself up to prevent myself from being surrounded. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah.
spike <laughs> through the neck. See, by making them come this way to me, I can kind of control the flow of the battle. <laughs> ah, my shield. The weight of her weapon crashed through my shield. Ah, butt spike. Ah. Ah. So as you can see, an incredibly deadly combo. I am just stacking bodies. There we go. I missed. There we go. Wow, I did that with significantly less damage. I didn't even have to go to my backup. So as you can see, yeah, incredibly efficient weapon combo because what happens is this gets in the way of their attacks, you know, and when they're open, when they open their body up, that's when you thrust out and hit them. And you, you saw me doing that a lot. Plus a thrust is very difficult to block um, because the weapon's coming straight at you quite quickly it's it's literally the the most direct form of attack is a straight line and so blocking that actually i'm going to keep the shield out um and we're going to move on to me using the the sword which is a, a more likely weapon here in the marketplace because i'm no longer in a phalanx i'm by myself and because i'm by myself uh, the spear might get bogged down on the enemy. Oh, she's still alive. Yeah. Oh, I missed. Oh, I still got her slit on the throat. <laughs> All right, I might have a, an opponent coming from behind me here soon. Yep. <laughs> Get back here. Ugh. Yeah. What the hell? They just... There! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Two dagger-willing opponents! <laughs> ah. Oh my god, what just happened? <laughs> ah. 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 Didn't get the... Ah. 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 That is weird. Her armor's really good. <laughs> ah. 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 So, I took a bit of damage there, but not nearly as much as the Lands Niche run I did, because I had this big-ass shield. Um, plus, I kind of stayed out here. I didn't go into the market center. Uh, up there in the market center, you're way more likely to get fully surrounded. A lot of people think, well, you got the high ground up here versus opponents down there. High ground is only good when your weapon is stupid fucking long. It's actually a disadvantage in hand-to-hand -hand combat and in small-scale battles. You actually want to be downhill. Um, the reason being, if I'm up here fighting down... I gotta bring my shield all the way down here to block like my legs and my knees. So I'm now hunched over, like bent over, trying to stab downhill. Whereas if I'm down here, if I wanna stop them from swinging, I just gotta lift my shield up. I'm still in a perfectly good fighting stance. My shield's over my head, protecting me from their swings and any arrows raining behind them. But if he's up here reaching down to block my swings, he is now wide open for any arrows along the back wall. 
All right, that's that's a downside to fighting from uphill. Now, say I have a whole phalanx of my brothers behind me. That's where the tide turns. Because if he has a whole army behind him and we keep killing him here on the steps, they're having to climb to get to us. They're having to the, the dead are gonna fall back downhill. They're gonna fall backwards towards his own men instead of falling inwards on me, causing them to get boggled down, causing them to get weighed down, to trip over their own men. It, it's it's gonna be a fucking nightmare for him. Whoa. Ah, that didn't work. You were supposed to. There. So yeah, they're, they're going to get weighed down on their own guys, and it's going to lead to uh, some serious, like, like kerfuffling. Anywho, as you saw during that fight, I was able to use both the blade and the butt spike effectively. Um, yeah, this doesn't stick in very far, does it? He, there we go. Um, I was able to use both the blade and the butt spike effectively. Um, when it came to the Xyphus, I was able to both... Well, that is really bloody. I was able to both slash and stab, especially if I hit right here. That that was usually a kill right to the head. Able to stab effectively, except against, like, one of these chicks' armor. Just... Yeah. I just... Eh, can't stab through that armor. Ugh, which... I mean, not the most accurate, but kind of accurate. Eh, eh, eh. That is that is good armor. Holy shit! Oh, that went through. So, yeah, we got one more for one more for you today. I just love hearing them whistle as they fly. One more for you today. An absolute treat. Do I not have the shield on anymore? I don't. I'm going to keep the dagger. Um, I'm going to need you back. I'm going to need you. No, get on my shoulder. There we go. And... I'm gonna need, I don't even know if it's in here, but I'm gonna take a little peek, I will see you all when I find it. A few moments later. Welcome back everybody, I've got my weapons on me, so today uh, what, I'm, what I'm trying to do is resemble a Thracian warrior. Now, the Thracians, uh, they were famous for several incredible weapons that revolutionized warfare. Uh, the Falks, my absolute favorite. The, uh, the Francesca here, with its... its it, now, real Francescas were made to bounce when they hit the ground to get up under Roman shields. These do not bounce. But see, they'd roll through the air, um, here, hold on, so you'd throw it, and it would spin like this, it, it would hit the ground, and skip up under the shields, and when it skipped under their shield like that, it would hit him in the knees, hit him in the waist, hit him in the groin, and it would make the, the soldiers, you know, wounded. Now, Thracians weren't known for their shields, they did possess shields, but they definitely weren't known for them. Um, mostly because the Falks required two hands to wield, and Thracians also weren't really known for their armor. They just kind of charged at you and whatever. Um, the Thracians that didn't wield the mighty Falks did wield uh, more cleaver-based weapons. And so, kind of on that, that poor person cleavers thing, I have here the Bastard Falchion. Uh, a real simple sword that I believe any Thracian could wield, you know. And on my other hip, I've got that dagger, so, here we go. Uh, I'm going to start out fighting some, some bandits with my Falks and my Francescas. Whoa! Yeah! 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 God, this is such a mighty weapon. Yeah! Yeah! 
So you hit him in the leg, and then that opens up their guard for a good headshot. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Whoa. Yeah. 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 There we go. I, had, I got him caught the bell, so I'm just sawing on him. Oh shit, in the back! situation <laughs> all right folks got me through that one pretty well um, I'm gonna move on to using my uh, sword here now I'm going to look through this book mighty fine quick to see if I can't find some semblance of a shield the Thracians would wear. Eh, close. No, they, they would never have a round shield or a metal shield. Definitely not a tower. Um, yeah, I'm thinking this, this is going to be The, the closest thing to what they'd wield. Because they, well, they wielded like targes. And I don't think the game has a targe. See, it has a buckler. I don't, I don't think this game has a targe. Armored buckler or round shield. Actually, that's, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Shit. Thanks, game. Uh, yeah, so it'd, it'd be something like this. Except this handle would be right in the center, and that's why this boss is here. The boss would be pushed out. Um, they'd wield small shields like this because the Thracians were very light fighters. Um, I'm not going to take on a whole feckin' ton of them. But uh, I'm going to get my bandit boys on my team. We're going to pillage some knights for a little bit. Just to see how well me and my... Whoa! You're not a knight. Did I accidentally do bandits versus gladiators? Must help out my friend. I gotta protect that archer. Archer, come back. We should hold the square. My archer friend left me. Pillage the town! Uh, uh, I got cut by my friend. Dicks. Uh, I've taken... Oh, are you okay? Death with honor. Oh, I missed him. Alright, well, I guess you'll die unhonorably. Hm. There we go. Oh. Sorry, dude. I was gonna say, another thing that, that Thracians would wield. Feckin' axes. Because every, every civilization had an axe, you know? Oh, calm down, dude. Well, five frames a second right there. My god. All right, hold on. I gotta call an end to this. They are just decimating. Yeah, see, it's supposed to be bandits versus knights. Those were not knights. Those were gladiators. Yeah, no, much more likely than the than this was an axe. I guess that slipped my mind. So. That was over really quick. This is a really good weapon. Oh 
Oh my god, that is inside of her. All right. Well, that does it for our field trip to the market. Uh, next episode will be about uh, all about spears. So be ready for that. Uh, so yes, our next episode is going to be all about spears and, and the different types of pull arms that go with that. And then after that, we are going to cover axes. And they have their own forms of pull arms that, that go in that category. So um, have a good time, everybody. See you back at Cla in the uh, our bloody sandy neighborhood. Next episode, class dismissed.